Well, March 23rd, 2019. Got a little snow. A lot of it melted. So a lot left to go. So we did indeed get about 10 inches here. And the structure on top the on top of the cold frame held up the plastic. Let's brush it off and see what we got. Before I get too far into this shoveling, get, get out of my shadow here. Jesus. Anyway, look at something, I can't tell what, left some prints. This had to be last night or early morning. There you go. Walked up on here. I noticed this. Is that something has tunneled underneath the snow, poked out here, there. See the tube? <laughs> By the way, it's absolutely cloudless. Cloudless. Blue sky. Alright, I've watered everything in. Unfortunately, I seen a mouse running around in here and I don't see visually like a lot of the seeds. It could just be that they've made their way in. I don't know if mice eat spinach and herb seeds, you know, salad seeds. I don't know. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. So I'm just here using loppers to uh, straighten out the very top of the hill garden here. And I'm just noticing how absolutely glorious it is with the rays of the sun shining on this area up here. So check it out. Love it up here. It goes out to like a lake. And we're pretty much at the top of the hill. All right, did a little lopping today. Just a little, but you can really start to see the lines here. See that? And right up in there. Right across. And over the other side. This is what God gave me from my back hill garden. Thank you. Hey all, this is what 50 bales of hay looks like. I got a really good deal on these, $1.50 each. Excited to show you, I got uh, my order from uh, Johnny Seeds and I got a four, two inch soil blocker and a 20, a three quarter inch soil blocker for starting seeds in uh, soil blocks. It's a really cool process and I'll be letting y'all know about that as we come along. Also, all them herb seeds I have, I ordered them in bulk, so I'm gonna start selling them to other people. March 27th and the first sign of seed sprouting. This is a 12 bale. I like that. It's a little bit bigger than these. And this is a uh, eight bale. All right, here's the final cut on the back hill garden. And I decided the first level would come about here. So we're working on that. But here's an idea of how much I cut down. Friday, March 29th. It's just started to rain. It's going to be a rainy day. I've opened up the uh, cold frames here, baby's garden. And I am very pleased to say we have growth and the mice have left it alone. This little hollow is also my property. And I want to show you just how wet this ditch gets when it rains I mean that's that's a stream a little stream that forms down there it's very wet down there
And there's also kind of like a little stream that goes like this. So this, I'm definitely going to plant fruit trees in. Got all my old 10 by 20 inch flats laid out in the rain. Wash them off. The first level fence line got done the other night. Get the idea. And there's probably could be another one right about where them branches fell. This hill is really amazing, guys. This is a little stream that forms coming down the hill, and it does this in various places along the hill coming down here oh, here you see another one running right here and this is the other the stream I told you that runs right down down the back goes right in down and into the hollow of hay around here I'm just tramping it down with my feet. Today's Saturday night, about 10 o'clock. Sunday is supposed to rain. So hopefully it will wet all this down. And this stuff definitely chokes out whatever's growing underneath it. Mulch it nice and thick. Sunday, March 31st. See how we did with this mulching. You can see where I didn't and where I did. And you can see this whole big area here that has just been claimed for a garden. This is the redesign on my compost pit. I've seen Elliot Coleman and his friend there using uh, hay bales. And I'm like, let's just use hay bales for everything. It was super easy. I was going to use pallets, but I'll use them for something else. And here's a look at the worm bin and how the worm's doing. Let's see. They look pretty good to me. Area that's mulched up in here. planting my potatoes according to the Ruth Stout method. In fact, all this hay is inspired by the Ruth Stout method. I guess this is the digger spin where you just kind of lay a bed to suppress whatever's underneath and then you add, add manure, compost, good stuff, you know, whatever, pea, coconut, coir, and then you mulch the hell out of it. That Ruth Stout does. I'll put the link below, definitely watch it, she's really awesome. Alright, so what ended up happening here, down the middle there is planted a mixture of uh, red Brussels sprouts and uh, Romanesco broccoli, and then we got the all them sweet onion uh, bulbs been planted very densely over here. I got a blue de Soleil's leeks planted here in the middle, and I got Walla Walla sweet onion seeds planted over here. I dressed the potatoes with a bit more hay, and I also the onions, and you can see this lightly mulched here. I just noticed I've got another flagpole here. This is the tree that was growing into the side of the, well, on top of the trailer, which made me realize just how long that trailer had been sitting there burnt down. <clears throat> It's a Nephilim hand, two thumbs. By the way, putting down hay on clay makes it much less slipperier, slipperier when you make your way. And it's actually kind of luxurious to walk on. I just added another 30 bales to the 15 or so bales that I had left over.
That's 80 pounds. Easy. All that stuff's filled. There's a huge bird of prey in the middle of my screen. I'm inside my truck right now. You see me put down that chicken. Oh, turkey. That thing is huge. I think it's a vulture, a buzzard, or... Wow. April 9th, 2019. That's some awesome driveway action there. That's some awesome irrigation there. See my stream here, and I just, you know, encourage development a little bit. Not making it too straight, keeping it chunky. Earth finally released this thing. Clay soil with uh, various upbuilt grasses and stuff. Got both of those walls done on the hill garden. 422.19. This was planted. All kinds of stuff planted, really, on the equinox in a cold frame situation. Now everything that has hay on it is basically victory. Everything that has hay is clean, got no glass in it. And here's the big deal back here. All this, all this is clear, the whole hill is clear got my fences in this tree survived this was one of the trees that was growing into the trailer hanging their roots up for a long time get them nice buds now so here's that little stream I tell you about that forms and here is my big garden <clears throat> to tell you when it's all clay underneath it's really slippery but once you get the hay down it's nice see this side up top has not been done maybe I'll do like a comparison thing but I'll tell you this up here took 20 bales of hay and this down here took less uh, because it's a lot more narrow you can see onions coming up real good and I got the feeling the potatoes are doing good too and maybe some of them seeds will go maybe I didn't really water them you know regularly but yeah yeah that let me back it up a little bit this is gonna be my final final little clip for this video you see this is an unclear zone this is a clear zone all right let's look at that big garden that's a big garden like i said it's clay underneath so the idea is to basically uh put a bunch of hay down then put nice compost on top of the hay then the, that will trickle down and create a nice environment for roots and plant on top of it. This is all going to be no-till planted on top. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Next video, we'll be planting a lot more stuff. Take care, y'all. Oh, and if you haven't, make sure you get your uh, seeds started early for stuff like uh, tomatoes, peppers, watermelons, stuff like that. Got to get that in now. Got to get that in now. Later, y'all.
Thank <laughs> you.